Hello and welcome back to ELT Under the Covers, where we, as English language teaching professionals, we look at the good and the bad of English teaching clips on the internet and we give our opinions as to what's going on and we kind of let you know and we draw back those covers of what's going on in the classroom. But first, introductions. I'm Neil, our team teacher. Hello everybody, it's Professor Rich. Today, we are diving back into the realm of Mind Your Language, but with another one of their variations from syndication. Uh, so previously we've looked at Mind Language, which is British. We've also looked at, what was the American? What a country that was the American. What a country. <laughs> Today, what a country. We're looking at the Malaysian version. Um, I'm not going to say the Malaysian because I can't remember it, but in English it's translated to Oh my English. <laughs> oh my English. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to, when it's the mind your language kind of syndication format, I think basically it's going to be they're in a language learning class in some country in, in Malaysia. And that's about as much as I know. It, it'll be it'll be funny if it's like totally different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there is some variety. The American and the British one were pretty similar, apart from the American one was shit. But um, the Japanese one was like totally different, really, I wasn't it? About that, yeah. The Japanese yeah. one, I kind of felt like they'd mixed a manga with the mind your language. Well, that, that's that's just Japan, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now, you know that the school has adopted a mentorship program. So, each of you will have to be a mentor. <gasps> oh, best oh, you! Uh, as a mentor, you personally guide the students to develop... I'm kind of surprised that it's in English. It's not all, uh, it's not, it, it, it's, sub, it's subtitled, so it's not going to be in English for the for the whole part of the oh, episode. It's, oh, right. But I, d I find it weird that okay. they're, they're starting off in English, but I, you know, yeah. maybe that they're trying to represent that, you know, if <clears throat> this was an English school, everyone would be expected to be mm. speaking on staff yeah. to be speaking English. Well, that would be true. I mean, I mean that's I was almost... what was, ha that, when I've arrived, worked at places and it's been uh, as a business, then mm. everyone's kind of required to speak in English and they have, mm. even when it's non, uh, non English teaching roles that they, mm. they would be speaking in English in meetings and stuff like that. Um, the good mm. places that I've worked at have. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, but I, I, I mean, it's just, yeah, it is surprising to see it represented there. And I wondered if they were half going for kind of, combination of you know comedy drama plus actually teaching someone english like is it was it going to be like um i don't think it is going to be this it'd be amazing if it was it would be like kind of a like a graded readed reading version of like tv shows so it's like a graded oh. tv show you know where they've like so they kind of try and make a, a comedy drama but with uh english that you know an intermediate learner could understand i don't know that's an interesting idea though yeah, people have tried to do it in the past, and it doesn't, it's not not so easy. Let's have a look. ...themselves, so that they can have an open mind. Yes, yes, yes. We have to use a big screwdriver to open the mind. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Biggest... Puan Haja, do we get to choose the students? No, you don't. They have made their choices. And here's a list of those who have chosen you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> it's not fair. It's not fair because nobody picked me. Well, the students. Oh, uh, that's right. Malaysia is one of those countries that have all those sound effects. I, 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 I think I, I, it's an Asian thing in general. But it's okay. In Korea, in China, I've seen mm. it. I, I know it's in Vietnam as well. Yeah. Mm. They've made their choices and they have exercised their rights. What Haja? What Haja? 
It's been for 20 years I've been working here for you. In this school. No other school at all. Just this school, 20 years. I swear and swear and swear and swear. I swear, I swear. 20 years. And nobody paid me. Nobody paid me. Cik Mohd Saleh, everything happens for a reason. I think it is time, after all these 20 years, for you to eat. God, the canned laughter is like, just doesn't make any sense. It's just like randomly put in, isn't it? It's not like at a point when you would laugh. It's just like, ha, 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 what? What? Well, maybe it's you not don't even understand what they're trying to make line. funny. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, just man. laugh with the canned laughter. Don't think about it. <laughs> It sounds like children laughing as well. Excuse me, Pon Haja. <laughs> and Chief Mama Saleh does have a point here. <laughs> He's really sweet that you're always on his side. Okay, okay, I'll try to make some adjustments. Oh, okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, I mean, uh, yes. Ow. <laughs> hey. Right. Okay. Mentorship program hmm? fairer. You will be picked at random by your mentors. Okay, I present to you the sorting hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Masli. Only this one doesn't speak. <laughs> All right, in this hat are pieces of paper with your names on it. So each mentor will be drawing two names. We shall start with Chegu Ayu. See you again? Please read the names, Chegu Ayu. See you soon. Yes! And Shafi. Yes! Lihat la dunia, lihat la dunia. <laughs> Calm down, young man. Or do you want me to redraw? <laughs> Mr. Middleton, your turn. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> oh, is he the British guy? Um, oh, here you go. Okay. Um, I've got honey. <laughs> oh, and Aslan. Um, Mr. Middleton, since they're both new students, do you mind drawing one more name? Oh, yeah, that's fine, Boaja. Mr. Middleton, pun jadi lah. Tolong lah, kau nak anak. Ah, Anusha. Anusha. Okay. All right, Jema Masale, it's your turn. I am so excited. I know they can't wait for me to pick them. Okay. What are their names? Cik Mama uh, The first one... <laughs> Jiba! Uh, are you okay? Ah, uh, the second... Musli! As I've said before, for those of you whose names are not called out, you will be under me. Now listen, I want you to take these sessions seriously. If you skip any sessions, you will be punished. Okay? Why? Why? What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just watched someone drawing out names from a thing and i mean i i have done that but I, i've done i've done uh harry potter themed you know like camps and stuff so but not like well, yeah it's always good yeah uh, i mean it's fun as a theme but uh yeah i've never never assigned students you know to teachers based on a sorting hat I thought that, well, it's just a mentorship program, isn't it? Oh, it's, so, oh I don't know right. what that is. Yeah, yeah so are they going to go in into the class? class? Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure what the point of the mentorship is. I guess we'll sort of find out. Uh, mentor them progress in English. Why me? <laughs> why did the hat choose me? Oh, why? <laughs> why not? Mungkin ada hikmah Cik Mama Saleh terjadi mentor kurang. Tapi kenapa kau tak suka sangat Cik Mama Saleh tu, eh? Uh, no subtitles. 
Yeah, they were. Just it. Yeah, in, in, in Malaysian there are. Oh. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, English. It says it. It says English, but it's coming up Malaysian, isn't it? Oh shiz. All right. We'll make do. Okay, we have to go now for our session with Mr. Middleton. Mana lah, eh? Tak nampak dia pun. Takkan dia tak datang kot. I asked him just now to join us. But he said lantak lah. Lantak lah. Azlan and Mr. Middleton are just like chicken talking to duck. One, quack, 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 quack. It's kind of interesting how they keep code switching, isn't it? I hope lantak. Yeah. When Hajar like it's kind of like half in English and half in Malaysian. <laughs> It's kind of interesting. I mean, it, it genuinely, it's kind of interesting. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I come across it uh, a lot, but... Eat it. I am. Oh, hi. I'm trying to learn Malay so I can communicate with Aslan. Remember what Masli said earlier? Aslan and Mr. Middleton are just like chicken talking to duck. One, quack, 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 quack. And one... Chicken talking to duck. That's not proper English. What no. Masli meant was Aslan and Mr. Middleton don't speak the same language. <laughs> if you're like Aslan and you want to say Saya tak pandai berbahasa Inggris, just say I don't speak English very well. Or if you're asking someone to teach you English, you could ask, can you help me with my English, please? Which means, boleh awak tolong ajar saya bahasa Inggris? To ask, boleh tolong ulang balik? You could say, could you repeat that, please? So it's kind of like a... A, a, a comedy show with... Break. Random English lessons inserted in. That's a bit different. Yeah, it is a bit different. I mean, that sort of explains the code switching. Yeah. It is meant as a learning aid. So, Shana, seronok lah jadi menti cikgu Ayu. Oi, best gila. Wow. Yes, she shares many things with us. She loves her mentor very much. She shared many things lah, past tense. Mm. Uh, and by the way, you are her menti, not mentor. Mm. What she shared with you guys? Hey, ada lah. What the boleh bagi tahu? You all why so busy body? Want to know what we learn from our mentor? Because sharing is caring, you know? Oh, we know that, but we don't care. Shafiq, Khan, S.I.S. Ingat tak apa cikgu pesan tadi tentang menghormati wanita? Oi, eh, mesti ingat cikgu sebab tu lah kita orang sini berbincang pasal menghormati. I think we might uh, be on the right track with the idea that it's graded, like a graded mm. TV show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guys, guys. Wah, Jibam dan Mazli look so sad. Hmm. Ya, yeah, putih. Ini mesti kena dera dengan Cikgu Muhammad Saleh. Hmm. Jibam dan Mazli, huh? I want you to write a 10,000 word essay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest bit in this show so far. <laughs> What's the title, sir? The title? This is the title. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, that was that was genuinely entertaining. Oh, kejap, kejap. Encik Imam Masali takkan buat macam tu. Dia mesti buat macam ni. So, that is the story of my life. From <laughs> I know people that would have done that as well. <laughs> Not yet finished. That is only primary school. Now I go to the secondary <laughs> school. Part two. Part two secondary school. From form one. Then after that we can go home, right? <gasps> no, no. That's uh, that's another part three, part four, part five, and then there's a sequel. Ah. 
Ah, oh, okay. Is it looking for change? Okay, okay, lah. That's enough. Enough. Huh? Jadi apa yang kita belajar daripada semua ni? Saya dah faham betapa susahnya Pak Syam kena mop lantai setiap hari berpuluh-puluh kali. Ih, kotor je lantai semua kita ni, Cik Mazali. Hmm, saya belajar kalau saya lihat atas lantai bila berjalan, saya dapat jumpa banyak duit. Ini pun dah jumpa seringgit lima sen dah ni. Bagus. Jadi kesimpulannya, apabila kita berjalan, kita kena lihat atas dan bawah. Jadi kesimpulannya, the further you walk, wider you see. Huh? Huh? Jauh perjalanan, luas pengalaman. Oh. <laughs> Jadi sekarang ni kita tengok daripada sudut yang lain. Ya? Ha, tadi atas bawah, atas bawah kan? Sekarang kiri kanan, kiri kanan. Oh, okey. Okey, okay. kiri. Kanan. 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 Kiri. 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 Four A's isn't that bad of a result. It's quite good. No, okay. No, no. Why don't we hear from Azlan now? But I haven't finished my story yet, oh. sir. Okay. Hey, yes, yes. But it's Azlan's first time with us, so maybe it's best we hear from him now. Yes. Okay. Uh, Azlan, tell us a little bit about your life. Uh, tell us something, anything. Don't understand. Oh. Uh. Azlan, bila besar nak jadi apa? Wah, Alan, saya cakap BM tu takkan aku tak nak jawab kot. Oh, Alan. He's an L1. Azlan, kau jangan kerana jasa dengan Mr. Middleton boleh? Kan aku first time kat session ni. Ini kau lain tau, aku lain. Aku tak suka borak-borak. Kau kena tahu dia ni mak saleh. <laughs> dia tak faham pun apa yang kita buat. Hmm? Ya, kita nak belajar bahasa dia tu buat apa? Ada penting ke? So, I guess he's talking kan? shit. <laughs> ah, no idea. Huh? Benda ni semua buang masa tau. Baik aku balik sekarang. <coughs> uh, wait, wait. Um, that was a bit too fast. What did Azlan just say? Azlan said... How to say? How to say? Azlan said... He wants to go to the toilet. Oh. Okay, but um, I didn't hear him say tenders. Isn't tenders toilet? And then he just left. Is that? Could we skip that. ahead and see if there's any like big classroom scenes or anything? Session. Oh, the past two session. Ah, they're the action. Mr. Middleton is the most patient teacher. What's up with me? We are uh, aku, right? Mas, 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 mas. Ah. Ah. And our mentor, lagi cool. Kalau korang nak tahu, Encik Mohd Masali bagi, uh, uh, bagi vital jenis supaya perut jimam takkan rasa sakit lagi. You look like... Raja lawak kena rinjek! <laughs> Are they supposed to look American? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> what the hell's oh, going on? I don't think. Oh, this is classroom. Okay, Middleton. English class. The jacket. You guys cold? We are not cold. Cool, sir. Yeah. We are cool. Ooh. Yes. Well, let's start the class. Jiba Masli, I think it's best you take off those sunglasses, or you won't be able to see the blackboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But sir, I think Muhammad Sari told us that we need to see things in a different light. So from today, we want to see blackboard in a dark light. But you won't be able to see anything with those sunglasses on, oh. unless you want to do an English rap song or something. <gasps> Rap! Oh, do you want to hear us rap, sir? <laughs> no problem. Jibam? Yeah. Ready? Woo! One, two, three. Hello! Class 
Why are you wearing this outfit? <laughs> you, well, um, Bonhaja, I told them to wear, to wear this so they can rap in English, you know, to practice the English. Yes, yes. You want to hear us, oh, so Bonhaja? Yeah. Ready? Hello, everyone. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Middleton, can I have a word with you and Aslan outside, please? Ah, oh, yes. Chair Mohamed Saleh, you're the mentor for these two boys, right? Uh, yes, no, no, uh, I mean, yes, yes. Slow. Yeah, I understand. Tapi... Thanks, you. <sighs> Thank you too, Aslan. <laughs> I'm really happy that oh. Aslan and I have finally started to speak to each other. I need English. Oh. Fear, sir. <laughs> there we go. Oh <clears throat> my <clears throat> English. Yeah, so what do we <laughs> get from that? Uh, there's sort of some attempt at, um, I don't know, demonstrating something there. There was some on the spot correction at the end. Spoke, thank you for speak, for spoke for me. And he corrected him to spoke up for me. Mm -hmm. A very poor bit of on the spot correction with no real engagement on the part of the student. So he's likely to forget that in five minutes. Plus, I guess there would be an argument as to whether at his level, where he can't really seem to say anything, learning the kind of quite specific and rare vocabulary of speaking up for someone might not necessarily be that useful. On the other hand, maybe be given the fact it's related to a real situation, you could argue that he might have more chance of remembering it and using it. All right, fair enough. Um, but I think the big thing about this show, which I wasn't expecting, is um, the show itself is supposed to be uh, an aid to learn to learn English. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, it is. I wasn't expecting that <clears throat> at all. I thought it was going to be kind of them using this situation for comedy, but I guess they're kind of doing that but also, you know, having the show in kind of a graded way. So, you know, mm. low level English learners can kind of learn along and, you know, maybe take these snippets mm. from the talk to camera animated sections, mm. uh, which, were, which was interesting. You know, what do you think of that approach? Do you know, like if it was done, at a, you know, like this, like, cause they're doing that at like a national level, I would have mm. thought if they, if they, if mm. this is broadcast on public television in Malaysia, you know, mm. do you think that would make any sort of dent into learning English or do you think it would be better to just kind of, kind of go like with the Swede Scandinavian way of just, we're just going to throw the English on there without any subtitles. 
you know, trial by fire? Um, I mean, I think it's something, yeah. Like, like we were saying, <clears throat> there's an element there of it being sort of graded English. Mm-hmm. People are speaking kind of quite slow. It's a little bit synthetic, which obviously I hate, but the uh, the plot seems to be relatively simple. The things they say in English are quite simple, and they've got all this context given by the Malaysian used because they keep code switching, mm-hmm. which, you know, there's something to be said for code switching as well. It's something that, you know, maybe 40, 50 years ago would be sort of frowned on as a pollution of language. These days it's kind of seen as quite a natural thing to do in a situation where people, you know, where there's a, there's people who can speak both languages. Mm -hmm. Code switching is fairly, you know, it's a fairly natural thing to do. Mm -hmm. And certainly in times when I've been around people who can speak English and Spanish, you end up doing quite a lot of code switching, you know, depending on who you're talking to. Yeah. So it is quite a natural thing. and So it's not necessarily a problem. And, um, you know, in this sense, the Malaysian will give context. You know, is it the is it the best, most well put together English learning program in the world? Definitely not, but um, better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, the storyline, the plot, and everything was bloody god awful, and the chunks of language that they were teaching, mm, just useful phrases, basically, aren't they? Yeah. And it was very much in that kind of you that kind of tuba teacher format of. Instead of saying this, why don't you say this or yeah. this? You know, which is with the translation underneath as well. Yeah, yeah. So you know, limited use there. Nothing really clever happening, but well, it's there, isn't yeah. it? Well, one thing that I wanted to bring up that I did like, and I'm making a little bit of an assumption about Malaysia and stuff is so. For example, in Japan, uh, in China, there's a lot of idea of faith. So you don't want to be making mistakes or anything like that. So I kind of I'm extrapolating mm. that maybe Malaysia, because it's in Asia, would have that same sort of face dynamic. So when the mm. remember when all the kids were talking together in that kind of communal setting and mm. you know someone makes a mistake in english and the other person's like oh no it's mentee not mentor and that should be in the past i actually thought <laughs> well if i think about it in the context of you know showing people making mistakes that maybe in a culture is not kind of the the thing um that you do you want to be covering your mistakes and not admitting to anything then i thought you know that would be quite interesting because it's kind of like showing how they just oh i made a mistake oh my friend corrected me um and we kind of got on with it i you know i i don't know how how um effective you know that that you know correction would have that would be but um i thought it was interesting that at least that that was being shown and presented uh, and having some sort of representation that, you know, you can code switch, you can uh, make mistakes in English and allow other people to just kind of be like, oh, I think it's this, not this. So I, I found that interesting. Yeah. Yeah, there's something to be said for that. And they don't kind of over... Well, they did. It's, we, it's weird because on the one hand, they didn't sort of make a big deal of mistake, like, pointless mistakes like you know the guy at the start said something and then like 10 minutes later we had like a bit of reflection where they were like oh he said this and he should have said this oh yeah the duck and chicken thing (laughs) yeah that was right that was right Uh, i I mean it was funny because when they kind of let that slide earlier on i was kind of like oh this is cool you know people are just talking in english and they're not speaking perfect english and that's fine but and then later on they 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 went back to it right and I, my initial impression was he talks duck, he talks chicken. Actually, that's just communicating. And yeah. you, know, you kind of got an understanding of what he's saying. It didn't have to be perfect. Yeah. But 
I don't know yeah. why they used that as a diving off point to go into that little, yeah. little lecture. It was, it was weird. So, yeah, like you say, yeah. it's quite it's quite clear what he means. There's nothing. Okay, it might be an idiom in Malaysian, but it doesn't exactly. matter. It, you can you can tell what it means. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah. so yeah, I was a bit surprised by that. And then also we had the fella. You know, at the end he sends a card to his teacher, which says "Thanks you," and he's and you know he kind of rolls his eyes and then goes "Thank you too." It's like all right, <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's not really a that big a deal, you know? I mean, it, it just, uh, there's an S on the end of the word. It's not the kind of error that I'd be obsessing about. Um, so yeah, it was weird because they got this kind of weird mix of like you say, it's kind of like letting the errors slide, which is what you want in this, in these kind of cultures where making mistakes can be over punished, just kind of go like, yeah, just roll with the punches, it's a language. And then they've also do actually have the kind of the overcorrection kind of comes at the end. It's kind of like they kind of like saying, hey, it's all right. Have a go, you know, communicate. And then they sort of hit you with a surprise left hook when you're not expecting it. <laughs> but that's wrong. Boosh, you know. Um, so, yeah, a bit odd there. Need just um, just it just seems like. Honestly, if I'm being really honest about it, it just seems like something that. It's not what we expected. We didn't expect to sort of learn English here. We thought it would just be another crappy mind your language copy, which it basically is, yeah. um, but a bit different, educational and trying to teach English. But I don't think a lot of thought's gone into it. Yeah. And um, I think you could do a lot better if a group of English teachers sat down and sort of redesigned this. I think you could make something really useful. But, you know, they've just, it's, it just seems like something that's just being hodgepodge together. Yeah. With, uh, with, not, with not a lot of talent or. If they were going to do it, they, it would be kind of like doing almost like a course book uh, in that, you know, they would, each episode would probably be themed around a, a language point or, you know, like some sort of Lexi or something like that. And then you know, to reinforce or what have you. I can imagine something like that. And I can imagine that being, uh, I'm not sure how successful that would be though. I mean, mm. going back to your point with being like being a graded like English show for intermediates, lower intermediates or uh, English learners. The, the issue with that is it's it's so contrived that how would you how would you be authentic with telling a story while also being uh under those also trying to follow a learning uh, a learning plan i guess because it's possible to do um books for example with uh, that are limited with uh, their, you know, the amount of English that they use or the level of the English that they use. But the ones that work are driven by the story. So like Harry Potter and that progresses over time, right? Or something like Dr. Zeus, where he was uh, challenged by I th his colleagues or whatever to write a story with only using a certain amount of words. I think that was for um, green eggs and ham, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, he was only allowed to use a, a certain number of words to come up with a story. <laughs> so for him, it was not that he had, he was trying to keep a learning objective in mind, just this was the limited amount of words that he could use. And I think that's where it kind of clashes if there were to, if you were to make a show like this um, to teach English is that you're, you'd have a learning objective, but that learning objective would often probably veer you away from the story objective. Mm. So I don't know how you would do that. And the only thing, the mm. only example I can really come to mind, well, I mean, Harry Potter doesn't teach anything. It just starts off with simple language and builds up in a graded reader kind of way. Mm. So I don't know how you would do that with a TV show. But it's an interesting uh, thought experiment. You definitely could. Uh, I mean, because what you could do is you could have the, the the students in the TV show their English gets better. So you know, in the th in the first season they're all elementary students, so 
the majority of what they're saying is kind of in Malaysian. They occasionally say a few things in English, and by the end, the whole show's in English, and they're all speaking advanced. I mean, that. But then ha- you would it. you would have to bring your audience along with their advancing English, and how you would, how would you be able to <laughs> you know like move someone from A to to B to over the course of I don't know, let's go with the American twenty four episodes. Would that even make an actual dent? You know, that's what like twenty four episodes of half an hour. It would have to be cut. It would have to be coupled with something, wouldn't it? And then you're really getting into educational material because then you're saying like, you know, this is something that you use alongside like classes, for example, and it's going to take, then you have to start making guarantees about how long it's going to take and, and all the rest of it. And the thing about that as well is it's not marketable. Nobody, nobody wants that. When people buy products in language learning, they want like, or if they buy into products, they just want to know like, you know, like this would be the advertising for this one. It'd be like, watch Oh My English tonight and learn English. You know, that's what you want to say. You don't want to say like, watch Oh My English tonight if you're currently at the level that we're screening at. By the way, for every 24 episodes of this you watch, you should also be doing 200 hours of English learning in a classroom. So you go, you know, it's like it becomes overly complicated. You just want to say like, learn English or, you know, learn English in X amount of weeks or whatever, right? You don't want to... Don't want it to be overly complicated. So, in terms of marketing, unfortunately, yeah, Um, Yeah, and you know, that's kind of why we always go back to well, just just pick something that you enjoy, and you know, say Mm. you're watching TV series, just pick something you enjoy and watch it in English, Mm. and Mm. you know, don't watch it. So Mm. it's like, well, if you try to Mm. make something that would teach Mm. English, then it might take away that enjoyment aspect of it mm. because mm. it becomes contrived then mm-hmm. yeah well they took their shot and uh mm-hmm. i wonder how popular it, it was uh if you're a mm. malaysian person uh um, oh, we got some malaysian this, fans haven't we yeah I, i'm sure we've, we've had some hi there yeah. let us know what did you what do you think of oh my english what what is the i don't know the 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 thoughts in your culture about this show um and if you're not malaysian what did you think of oh my english i mean we only watched Mm. little clips of it uh you just go have a little search on youtube you can watch the full seasons i think that i saw them on there but um yeah let us know and uh you know we we're always interested to find out your experiences it's 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 a It, the, I just noticed that the, the, it's actually it's the official YouTube channel by Oh My English. Yeah. Do they cast on YouTube then? They must do because the, that's the full episode as well. They put their own full episode on of the of that one on YouTube, and I've just seen Oh My Reunion, twenty uh, first of March, twenty eighteen. So three years ago, they did Oh My Reunion. It must have been bloody popular enough that they, if they, if they can do a reunion, if there's any point of doing a reunion, then it must have been quite popular. Yeah, yeah, I don't oh my know. God, oh my English road to Jogja, oh my Ganu, oh my English class of 2015. Man, they've done like a million seasons of this. It must oh, have really? been like mega popular. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Well, I mean, the fact you know. That, oh, If someone watches like, it and they kind of like this, that's kind of soft humor, and they feel like, yeah. oh, I'm learning a bit of English at the same time. Yeah, I could, yeah. I could see the appeal. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I think you kind of hit the nail on the head when you went for the Saved by the Bell vibe as well. I think it's kind of the Malaysian version of Saved by the Bell. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I do. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. So they've combined a few weird elements and. The, the secret sauce has has, to, has worked in Malaysia. Yeah, so we're definitely going to get some people who know who know this in the comments telling us how wrong we are about our <laughs> English teaching opinions. <laughs> yeah, re- remember when when we're doing these shows where we're not having digs at the show, um, where we're really just f- trying to focus on um, 
the ideas and thoughts that come from that show based on our perspective as being English language teachers, you know, yeah. does it, is it a, uh, a good vessel for learning English, mm -hmm. uh, that sort of thing. And, you know, mm. for myself, when we look at it mm. at, at a professional level, I would say probably not, but you know, if this is someone's only, you know, they don't really, they're not interested in learning English, but, you know, maybe they'll channel flick and this will come on and it might, it might, oh, they'll learn splits and splats and it might be like a, a soft landing or a, a little mm. springboard into, oh, I learned mm. this phrase in English and then they yeah. want to, you know, get a little bit more because, you know, mm. language is like drugs, you get hooked on it, you know, when you start to be... <laughs> It's like a chicken and a duck, yeah, Rich. Especially when you when you force your students to do crack. Uh, English is, learning English is just like a drug. <laughs> it's like, yeah, when they when they when they do well in class, that's right. Now here you go. Here's your line of cocaine. Okay, that's how you motivate those kids. Okay, it's not how you motivate those kids, all right? Yeah, but <laughs> I I could see you know like for example if my i'm thinking older generation if my grandmother mm. was you know we wanted my grandmother to learn malaysian or something like that uh mm -hmm. and this we just like oh why don't you watch this show we watch all this show together you know she'd probably just kind mm. of enjoy the humor and then a little bit of that malaysian would slip in there and mm. you know ow oh, that, yeah. would, that would be the kind of like the sneak in. It seems good. I mean, yeah. I'm... Yeah. Do you have Better any more? Better than nothing, not, not <laughs> mind-blowing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Very I can see different, why it's though. I can see why it's popular, but I think it could be a lot better if, if, if really that's what they were going for. Any final thoughts? Um, I just thought it was not very... really. I mean, I'm just excited to see the next. Do we have any more mind your language stuff? Oh, we have. We... There's there's now. tons more of different like mind your language. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Never ending content. <laughs> and uh, if you want to see that, you you have to leave a comment because there's mm. mind your language in in every country, and we we we've still got to do that tour around the world, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. When this video gets to 100 likes, that's when we'll do the next one. Not 100 views, 100 likes. 100 views? Pff, come on. That'll be tomorrow. <laughs> 100 <laughs> likes. <laughs> Rich 100 really likes. doesn't want to go to that random part of the world to watch another episode. Of my... All right, let's say it's once it reaches 20, li language, tw 20, 20 likes, <laughs> 20 likes. If it gets 20 likes, then I'll watch another of these mind your language things. Is it Timbuktu? That'll be interesting. Mind your language, Papua New Guinea. Mind your language, Wales. <laughs> What's that one? What's that one called? <laughs> oh, my words. What else? We've we got what a country. What a country. Oh, my English. What else could you have? Uh, oh, English, where art thou? <laughs> <laughs> what the French? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. But I, I thought okay. it was, I thought it was interesting that it was, they, they took the route of actually trying to teach English which was kind of, if I remember correctly, what we thought might we might see with Mind Your Language, that they would actually have snippets of teaching in there when it just turned out that there was nothing of teaching English really at all. <laughs> it was more mm. kind of about the you know, student stereotypes and stuff. And then the, mm. the Japanese yeah. one was actually teaching about culture so it was better for someone mm. like us to watch it uh, as non-native japanese uh, speakers so this one was interesting because it's the other side but um yeah, yeah. It, it hard to do yeah 
Okay, well, I've been Neil of Team Teacher fame. Um, if you're looking for more of my stuff, go to teamteacherchina.com. Got a whole bunch of materials that you can download, use instantly for teaching English. Uh, we've got a corresponding uh, YouTube channel, Team Teacher China, where we go through videos uh, of teaching those materials. Team Teacher English, where those materials are turned into self-study videos, and Team Teacher Baby, where I take my teaching skill and put it into my child. <laughs> Great. Uh, you can learn English with me at professor youtube.com slash professor rich. I also do. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Man, that coffee was too strong and I had it, I was all fired up. And now I feel like I'm like, oh my god, I need my fix, man. What happened? I'm dying. So my top tip of the day is um moderate the strength of your coffee folks <laughs> so usually the comments professor rich for english teaching we've also you can go to twitch.tv slash profit gaming for all your gaming content you can email me at elt under the covers of gmail.com if you'd like to come on the show and uh, find us on linkedin and find us on find us on linkedin that's our new growing growth growth platform we're getting all kinds of growth there growing and um yeah Hope to see you guys next. We've got some amazing interviews coming up. I'm really oh, excited about really it. Really good. Really um, good. <laughs> so please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again to teach you a lesson or something. <laughs>